Hello and welcome to the Engage Brain Podcast. So we're here talking about exercise and stress, one of my favorite topics, uh, and I'm excited to uh, hear from two other people that are pretty big exercisers themselves. Uh, so uh, can you guys tell me how you got interested in exercise and stress? Um, <clears throat> I started exercising, you know, I've been, I've played football for 12 years, so that was always exercise, but I think I started into more, um, lifting weights when I was, um, seventh grade, I think I got into it. Um, and it's been like a basically everyday part of my life since. And I found that when I'm stressed out, instead of, um, just running around the football field and hitting people, lifting kind of, um, like copes with it a little bit easier. Cause it's just, it's just you that you have to worry about. And it's like, my mindset on one thing and one thing only, and I feel like I get a lot more done, like I'm a lot more motivated. Mm-hmm. And then after about an hour in the weight room or something, I feel like so much more relaxed and, you know, like calm down. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically the same thing for me. I mean, I played football for 12 years too. Um, I really didn't start to get into lifting until freshman year, um, even until then, freshman, sophomore year, you know. Um, we had like a big brother program. They mm-hmm. taught you how to lift. Okay. None of them really knew what they were talking about. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're just kind of winging it those two years. Uh, junior year, I trained with my brother, um, and he's done a couple powerlifting meets, so he is knowledgeable in that sense. So that's when I really started um, going to the gym every single day and almost religiously doing it as opposed to kind of half-heartedly doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I also started lifting that around summer between 7th and 8th grade, mm-hmm. and I still have this memory burned in my head trying to clean for the first time so just had like yeah. the, you know bumper plates on there yeah. and just falling over backwards and getting trapped under the, yeah. the bars like a little seventh grader and Yikes. then like the uh, starting uh, running back on the fo- uh, high school football team came and like lifted it off <laughs> and like, I was like oh wow I never want to do this again and right kept at it and uh, it, it was a lot of fun yeah uh, how about uh, kind of turning to the the research side? Uh, what are some interesting findings? So I mean, we all kind of come at uh, exercise and, and understanding its benefits for us for stress. But uh, what's the research saying about uh, exercise and stress? Um, basically, like it says, like obviously everybody should exercise, and it obviously, I mean, maybe not earlier. In your life, it's, it'll, like, mess with you, but later down the road as you get older and become, like, more unhealthy because of a lack of exercise in your life from your earlier years up to maybe your 50s or something, I think that, you know, everyone should do it. I mean, you don't have to, like, obviously, if people are going to exercise more in bulk depending on what they're doing, if they're an athlete, you know, what, even, like, with their job. I mean, if you're, like, a physical laborer or something, obviously, you have to be, like, stay, you know, in shape and stuff. So, all in all, I think that it's just everyone should do it and it's it should be a part of not maybe not everyday life maybe like at least four times a week mm-hmm. um kind of going off what he says but what surprised me wasn't um wasn't anything about exercise more so um, lack of i mean if you're uh, if you're an american or whatever canadian north american basically mm-hmm. um, and you exercise you're in a very small percent. If you exercise daily mm-hmm. um, and have that in your daily routine, you're part of a very small percent of people. Yeah. Um, so that surprised me the most, just because um, it's a it's a well known benefit to your health, mm-hmm. to your physical and mental health. It's a well known benefit to um, just better productivity in a family or a job or whatever, mm-hmm. and people still don't. Yeah. take advantage of it so that's what surprised me just because it's I think it's fun some yeah. people don't but I've been doing it for a long time as a view as mm-hmm. a view um, but yeah there's just a lot of people that don't do it and that's really what gets to me yeah and what's weird to me is uh, that the recommendations from the, the government is 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week uh, I luckily have this uh, fancy watch that now tra- tracks uh, how many minutes I get per week uh, doing uh, different things and uh, I'm able to get intensity minutes just from walking to work which Mm -hmm. takes like 15 minutes Mm -hmm. so 30 minutes a day just walking you know at a mildly brisk pace gets my government mandated minimum and uh, I can't remember the the figure but 
like you said, very small percentage of people mm-hmm. actually get that. And to think, um, I think when you say exercise to normal people, they think of you guys in the weight room, you know, having been there for years, mm-hmm. and like that's the kind of thing you have to do. They look at people out running seven minute miles or something like that and think that's what they have to do mm-hmm. when they don't understand, oh no, it's like a you know brisk walk mm-hmm. yeah. uh, for 30 minutes a day. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and uh, I think what is the other fact? It's like three or four days a week they even suggest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so um, trying to get people to change that mindset into, oh, it's something that takes forever or super hard or you yeah. need some sort of fancy facility or spend money on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, yeah, changing that mindset of people is going to be um, so important. Uh, so thinking about uh, kind of confusing things, ha- have you uh, stumbled across anything that you're trying to wrap your mind around with exercise and stress? Um, no, not not recently. When I like started working out then, yeah, sometimes because there would be different exercises that I have to do for different things, especially for football off-season and in-season, the lifts vary depending on what you're doing. So, like, you know, four years ago, freshman year, eighth grade, then I had, like, a bunch of questions. I didn't really get what we were doing. But Mm -hmm. as far as, like, when you go through those off-season lifts and you, like, everything you're doing seems like it's insane. You don't want to do it. You don't want to be there because it's, like, basically, essentially, it's, like, not painful, but it's, um, that's what I'm looking for, um, challenging. Yeah. It's challenging. But it, it, it pays off, and especially when, you know, fall rolls around and you get back on the field, you can definitely see how all those explosive workouts you were doing and stuff, you know, comes into play and plays off and just makes you an all-around better football player just from nine months out of the year. Yeah. What was the exact question again? Uh, confusing aspects of, of the of research. Okay. Right? Um, so not so much of research, more like he was saying, of um, practice, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, the first couple years I was lifting, especially before I started training my brother and everything, um, it was difficult to understand why you're doing it and what it was doing to your body. Mm-hmm. Um, like, uh, I never realized that uh, muscles is essentially scar tissue mm-hmm. that breaks down and that's how it rebuilds. Never realized that. I never um, realized why you have certain things in your diet, mm-hmm. um, like potassium or stuff like that, or I didn't know what amino acids were. Um, so it was all extremely confusing until I put in the effort to understand why it was there, why we need it. Mm-hmm. But obviously not so anymore. Yeah. Yeah, what uh, what kind of lifts are your guys' favorites? I prefer deadlift, mm-hmm. deadlift or squat probably, but um, which squats obviously not a very popular one. Yeah. but uh, I, I like those two. Bench, bench, I really like. Obviously, that's a, a very popular one, but I like the more um, heavier lifts. Mm-hmm. Obviously, my bench is my lowest lift, and um, heavier lifts I really enjoy just because it's it's a lot of weight and that's yeah. that's what I like mm-hmm. yeah I like bench press that's probably you know my top three my other one is on power cleans because I like the um the explosiveness of uh explosiveness of it and then I I can't stand squatting just because I've messed up I've hurt my back so many times over the course of football my spine just can't take it but you gotta do it so yeah yeah I like uh Turkish get-ups oh goodness. oh yeah those are those are rough yeah but no, they're they're great though. Yeah, cleans, uh, hate snatches. That's that's the one that I yeah, really I and snatches can't do. I just don't have the shoulder and mm-hmm. like back mobility or flexibility yeah. to handle that. Uh, and then I I'm gonna modify your your squats and say like front front uh, squats. Oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> those are interesting. Yeah, just a, a little bit different angle than, yeah. than mm-hmm. the regular ones. Uh, still maybe not not great for uh, back. Uh, but improving core strength uh, mm-hmm. I think helps uh, yeah, 100%. Helps, helps back so much. Uh, and so thinking about kind of wrapping up here, uh, do you guys have anything that you'd like to promote or uh, tell other people about? I mean, does it have to be related? It doesn't to have to be related to anything. I mean, Wounded Warrior Project's always mm-hmm. a great thing. Yeah, like, could you talk a, a little bit about that? Uh, I mean, I haven't been involved in it for that long. I've been involved in it for like six months, but... Um, I mean, I donate everything, and it's a very small amount of money just mm-hmm. because I obviously don't have hardly yeah, any money, sure. but um, that small amount of money would be going to pizza or clothes I don't need or something, and uh, it's donated now, and it goes to someone that really needs it and has earned it more mm-hmm. so than I have anything, basically, um, and it's just it's an organization that I like and will always support, basically. Yeah, well, thank you. 
That sounds pretty good. That might be something I might have to get involved in. Yeah. Is there anything local uh, for the uh, Not that I know of. I, I do everything online. Um, uh-huh. There's a there's a couple like uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Mm-hmm. He does um, shirts, and they, depending on what kind of shirt you have, um, it'll go to some organization. The ones I have, I'll go to Wounded Warrior. Mm-hmm. He'd go. He, I think most of the proceeds go to Wounded Warrior. Obviously, yeah. he doesn't need <laughs> right. any more money, but yeah. uh, um, stuff like that. Other than that, I just do everything online, electronically. I haven't been involved in anything personally yet, but right. hopefully someday I will. But. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything in, in Dubuque. I know uh, UD has a ROTC program, mm-hmm. um, but I don't know if they have anything through that. And then I'm trying to think closest, like... Um, Iowa uh, base there was something in Iowa City for the reserves but oh yeah yeah yeah, that's right we were going to do something like that over um with football camp but um there was uh we couldn't work it out I forgot what it was but I know what you're talking about yeah also something in my um in our MOI what um it was like we went out to um it was a service project and we Mm -hmm. went out to uh like a house someone it's um I forget I can't think of it I think it was like Dubuque homeowners or Something it was something that builds houses for people like that, yeah, and it's all yeah, yeah, habitat for humanity. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. That, that's what after I did that for my service project, like I felt really, really good about myself and like helping people. So that's something. And when more, if time allows, I'd like to get more involved with that. And I think everybody, if you didn't do it, then everyone should definitely take a crack at it. Yeah, yeah. I've been involved in that too. We did that for. Um, I did that for gene, junior and senior year of high school mm-hmm. service pro- service projects, and um, I like it because you're not so much building it for and building it with. Them. I mean, we met the guy and he was he had a hammer and nails right yeah. next to us, and I like that just because he's he's helping. It's not us just handing something out to him. Mm-hmm. He's helping, and um, a lot of them are really funny and nice people. So yeah, yeah I like that organization too. Great. Thank you both for coming. Yep.